Here's the starting lineup for the visiting Miami Heat. At power forward, Kevin Love. At point guard, Kyle Lowry. At the other guard, Tyler Hero. Center, Bam Adebayo. At the other forward position, Jimmy Butler. The head coach of the visiting team is Eric Spolstra. Let's meet the Boston Celtics. Four, six, nine, number 42, Al Hofford. At guard, number 36, Marcus Smart. At center, number 44, Number seven, Kaylin Brown. At four, number zero, Jason Tatum. The head coach of your home team, your Boston Celtics. The next stage of the Eastern Conference playoff battle begins here. Game one of the conference semifinals. Both these teams have survived and moved one step closer to the title. Along with Greg Anthony, Brett Berry, and our sideline reporter, David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. D.A., take it away. Thanks very much, guys. Well, the Celtics are developing chemistry. Robert Williams says our older guys are keeping a great energy, preparing us before we even get on the court. When you've got your main players fired up and they're talking in your ear, you got to follow their lead. Kevin? Veteran leadership. David, that's why we follow you. And you're a veteran on this crew. Great to have you with us. Thank you for the report. So here's Miami's starting group. The wing set for them, Hero and Butler. Adebayo is out there with Kevin Love. And it's Lowry in at the point guard position. And for the Celtics. The post tandem, it's Horford and Williams. Out on the wings, it's Brown and Tatum. And it's smart and at the one spot. Tip off goes to Miami. Outside Butler. Pass to Autobio. Here's Hero. He's covered by Brown. Love against Horford. Six on the shot clock. Love the pass to Autobahn. Shoots from the block. No good that time. Great D that time from Tatum. Smart against Low. Down low. Here's Horford. And they call the foul. So a chance at the line for one more coming up. That's a big boy basket from Horford. Fouled, but still got it to fall. That's his first. Personal foul. Austin shooting their first free throw of the night here. Malcolm Brogdon's checked in for the Celtics. Yurt Zabeni's checked in for the Heat. Victor Oladipo comes in for Kyle Lauer. One shot. Free throw drops for Al Horford. 
Al Horford has seen so much in his career. He's become a valuable asset both on the floor and in the locker room as a leader. Now, Hero. Who's up to the strike. No good that time. At the end of one quarter of play, still a close game. Celtics out in front. They're up by three. And back with the start of the second quarter in just a moment. And your Celtics, you And you are back with us live as we bring you continuing coverage of the Eastern Conference semifinal. When you consider how the Celtics are doing, guys, what jumps out to you, stance wise? Stingy on the defensive end in that first quarter. They were just getting up into people. Just a, a great job, really, of making the game ugly, trying to muck it up a little bit out there. On the court for Miami here in the second, they've got Lowry, Kevin Love out there with Jimmy Butler. Then there's Oladipo, and it's Autobio in at the pivot, manning the middle. The shot by Brock did no good. Well, maybe not the best shot against that kind of defense, but he still has the ability to knock that kind of shot down. And then against Oladip. Tries again, and two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. This is where Oladipo goes in and has no fear of drawing some contact. Nice job of getting through the defense. And he's got his first free throw of the game. Two shots. Free throw drops for Oladipo. The combination of shooting and speed Oladipo provides this team is invaluable. And his hunger to keep getting better, also impressive. Alan Ari, he's checked in for Boston. Derek White comes in for Malcolm Brogdon. That one misses. Here's Boston now. The pass to Smart. Out to Gallinari. Six to shoot. The ball's not loose. It's stolen by Adebayo. A 15-footer. Shots good by Butler. Jimmy. Defenders are trying to keep pace with Jimmy Butler, but there's enough space for him to spot the rim and knock it down. And so it's time as we head to halftime. Stay with us, folks. We'll get back just after halftime to start the third quarter. The Heat, three. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, folks, we hope you've enjoyed the first half. I'm Ernie Johnson. Next to me, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. It's the NBA playoffs on 2K Sports. Looking at the Celtics, they've hung tough in what was a closely contested first half. If what we've seen in game one so far is any indication, we're going to have quite a series on our hands. Taking a look at the Celtics, Shaq, what do you think? With how they're shooting, it's a miracle they're still in this game. There's still a whole half left to play. We need to stop wasting shots and get serious about finding quality looks. And Kenny, what are your thoughts on Miami? Playing on a road is having no effect on this team. I mean, between your planes, the hotels, the buses, it's a grind. It can zap your energy levels. But right now, they look like a fresher team. And we'll see if they hit the wall in the second half. And that wraps up the halftime show. Third quarter is set to begin in just a few.
the Eastern Conference semifinal. And here's Tatum. He'll bring it up for the Celtics. Up at the forward spots, it's Tatum and Horford. Smart in the backcourt with Brown to his side. And it's Williams at the center filling out the middle. That's who's in the game for the Celtics. Tatum wide open. He fires one. A three-pointer no good. Heat on offense. Adebayo finds Lowry. Butler on the way. Guarded by Horford. And it's out of bounds. The Celtics will take it the other way. Some changes for Boston. Blake Griffin. He's checked in for Robert Williams. Grant Williams comes in for Al Horford. And Malcolm Brogdon subbed in for Marcus Smart. Then for the Heat, Yurtsevini's checked in for Bam Adebayo. Caleb Martin comes in for Kevin Love. And Struz is subbed in for Kyle Lowry. Now, here's Brogdon. Outside Williams over Butler. Williams can't hit. Now, Hero. One second left. Misses. Third quarter comes to a close, and a battle brings it to a tie. And we're coming right back after this break to get the fourth quarter underway. And it's time now to bring you our State Farm assist of the game. Just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball, and how about the perfect delivery? Yeah, those are the kind of plays that you want to put on a canvas. Just beautiful basketball. What's here, everyone? And we're ready to get back into the action here in game one. Let's see what this quarter has in store for. So with Butler sitting on the bench, this is who Eric Spolster has on the floor. At the guard spot, Lowry and Hero. Martin is out there with Kevin Love. And it's Adebayo in at the front, home in the paint. Now here's Tatum. After Tyler Hero's miss, Tatum hits the smart. No good on that one. Great T that time for Martin. Adebayo passes to Hero. possession and he nets it and out called the Celtics they're trailing by two 24 seconds left to play in the final quarter Entertainment, everyone. Come on, make some noise. 
against Brown. as we move on to overtime. It'll be the heat off the tip. And always a good ride in these post-regulation battles. This overtime now looking to be an exciting one. Ogden on the wing. He's joined by Brown. Gallinari is out there with Williams. And it's White in at the point. Hero. Count it! Tyler. Hero sticking with it through contact. Boston. That's not easy. Now a timeout called by Boston. They're behind by two. There's 45 seconds left to play in the first overtime. For Boston's own Public Entertainment. Here's Brown, and he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Personal foul. They need a profitable trip here, and luckily, Brown looks to be in the zone. Second free throw, no good that time. He really wanted that one. Guys are not going to be in any rush on this possession. They're up with the lead. Now's the time for burn some clock. Here's Hero. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. That one on White. First a hero does so much damage off the bench for this team. Now here in the clutch, let's see if he can step to the line and come to Good on the first, and that will put them up by two. Blake Griffin, he's checked in for Boston. Mason Tatum comes in for Derek White. The Heat also changing it up. Kevin Love's checked in for Martin. And it's Kyle Lowry in for Max Cruz. And, and Hero, one of those guys you just rely on coming in and giving you that offensive pop. There's a lot of things for his team on that end of the floor. Now a timeout called by Boston. They're trailing by three. We've got 28 seconds left in the first overtime. In for Griffin. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. An incredible leaper at 6 8. Tatum is difficult to stop down low. Oh, what an impressive dribble drive. That replay brought to you by Mobile One. And putting that pressure on the rim. That's what it's all about. Threatening with that attack. And that's an intentional foul. He drops the first one, and that will put them up by two. And he hits both free throws here. So now it's a three-point game. Those were pressure-packed free throws. And he looked as cool as he could be. So big to give them that three-point lead. Tatum against Butler. Here's Brown. The kick out to Tatum. The three won't fall. And there's the intentional foul. No choice but to stop the clock here. No 
choice mm -hmm. but the foul there. But, but he's probably the last guy you want to see on the line. The line for the deep. And so he drops them both. It's a five-point game. Ooh, I think that's a wrap. And I can tell you, you can't have more pressure-packed free throws than the ones that are going to seal the game. And so it's Miami winning this one. A uh, pretty good feeling right, right now for them to be team. out in front like this Please. in the series. You know, Kevin, really momentum really is so, and so, and so critical. And, and you know they'll want to ride this wave into game two. David, thank you as always.